We get countless reports of scams into our newsroom and keeping you informed about the latest ploys to steal your money and private information is a top priority. I'm 70s consumer anchor Diane Lee and I looked into what scams are hot right now and why many are getting much more difficult to detect. See how all the tar that's coming up? Just about every summer we hear from people like Mary Spindler in Traveler's Rest. The bottom line is that he came in here knowing he was going to scam us. And that's exactly what he did. Spindler says a group of pavers came to her house offering to resurface her driveway. He said, and we have all of this that's going to go bad unless we use it right away and I'll give you a really good deal. But nearly $15,000 later, her driveway is full of ruts and grass and she says the pavers won't return her call. 25 years maintenance free, that was a big scam. The seasonal paving scam is similar to another bait and switch, pine straw sellers who show up claiming they have extra so it's yours for a good deal. But after laying it down, they drastically overcharge. Now this time of year, travel scams are a lot more common. You might get a text saying you didn't pay a toll or an email saying your vacation rental money is due. Always verify the source independently. Cyber experts like Nicholas Watson, the IT director at Sherman College of Chiropractic, say what's most concerning at this present moment is the new twists on old scams. We are definitely more at risk than we've ever been. Watson says every scam text, email, video, or call has become vastly more deceptive with the recent rise of artificial intelligence. In seconds, programs can scour social media to compile data about you to personalize the scams. If you have something on Facebook right now that has your face and has your voice, they can take 30 seconds of you speaking and recreate an entire dialogue. That is scary. They can make it say what they want to, they can make it look like they want to. So when you ask about the latest scam, to me it's more about the latest tool that affects all of the scams. And some of the top ones, according to the Federal Trade Commission, involve impersonating well-known entities, copycat security alerts, phony subscription renewals, fake giveaways, bogus legal problems, and made-up package delivery issues. Sharon Glass in Boiling Springs says she knew a recent email claiming to be from Norton Antivirus was a scam, so she didn't call the number on the fake $450 invoice. And yet, it's easy to fall victim in unsuspecting ways. This, this was the invoice, supposedly. And was it in an attachment, or is this the actual email? It was an attachment. It was an attachment. Yes. Okay, now that's one thing I do want to warn you about. If you open the attachment, the warning is that it could have potentially downloaded malware on your computer. Oh no. The rule of thumb, don't click on anything, links or attachments if the source is not verified. And whether it's a traditional scam. Be very, very careful about someone just showing up at your front door offering to give you a good deal. Or high tech, chances are a quick search online may clue you in to warnings from others not to fall victim. Now, one more hot scam this time of year, bogus concert ticket sales. You might see promotions on social media for a discounted event, but watch out. That link could direct you to a fake website. You'll find a link on how to verify a website on my Here to Help page. Just look for this story on WSBA.com consumer.